And welcome back to another Pretty Ugly makeup tutorial. Today is a little bit different. It's not actually me doing the makeup today. I am with an expert makeup <laughs> artist, SJ, who is the international makeup artist for Bare Minerals. So we thought today it'd be quite good to show you how to get really flawless skin using mineral makeup, specifically Bare Minerals. I know a lot of people do struggle with, with the concept of it and how to really buff it into the skin. And I also wanted to try it on me in particular because I do suffer with rosacea, which if you don't know what that is, it's particularly kind of red patches, it's quite inflamed. It can be kind of enlarged blood vessels that are visible on the top of the cheeks. So it's harder to cover up that than say just, you know, your normal blemishes. So we thought we would take all my makeup off which is a little bit scary. <laughs> so um, we wanted to create the no makeup makeup look. So in case if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be like amazing smoky eye or something, we're going to create some videos. No about smoky eyes. No. This is like the makeup look where you want. You're either going on a hot day or you're going for an interview. You want to look the best you can possibly look, but without the look or feel of makeup on the skin. So we've gone for Complexion Rescue, which is our tinted hydrating gel cream. Just hydrates the skin, gives you an amazing SPF, gives you that glowy, dewy skin coverage but without being heavy. Then our original foundation, which is the hero of our range, basically gives you the most flawless complexion. Which is the product I'm most skeptical about, <laughs> only because I just can't get to grips with it at all. It's, if you're not aware, the original is just the, the powder that you buff in with a brush. Now, and as yet, I haven't been able to master it. So you okay. are going to convert me today. <laughs> so yeah, we are gonna to get to work on a completely flawless skin look for you, which I am now wearing. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to start off then with how to get the totally flawless looking skin with first of all prepping the skin with skincare and then going straight in with however many products you're going to use on me today. Yeah, definitely. And what I'll do, Gabby, is I'm just going to create that kind of no makeup makeup look. So Perfect. like absolute complexion perfection. So what I've done to begin with, I've just removed your makeup using our amazing oil obsessed from our skincare range. So this is great because you can just remove all your makeup with it really quickly. Then I'm going to use our Smart Combination. It's a really lightweight, amazing moisturiser. And because we're going to be using Complexion Rescue on you, which is very hydrating, I'm just going to use a light moisturiser underneath. Okay. So as you might have been able to see on camera, I have a little bit of rosacea, which I have posted about before on my Instagram, which can be quite hard to cover up. So what I wanted to do with SJ today was just show that you can actually cover that really easily with mineral makeup, bare minerals in particular, without it aggravating it any further. Absolutely, and what I'm gonna do, Gabby, is I'm going to use um, um, our Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Now, although it's a tinted moisturizer, it's actually got really good coverage, and because you've got a little bit of rosiness, I mean, hardly any, but a little bit, I'm going to use something with a very yellow undertone. So um, it's got a warm tone, it's gonna neutralize any redness. I'm going to use the Smoothing Face Brush, Okay. Now, with the um, Complexion Rescue, let me just show you it actually. This is our Complexion Rescue. <laughs> Let's show you this to yeah. the camera. So, with this, you can either apply, apply it with your fingers. So, you know, if you're like, you know, rushing off to the gym, getting ready really quickly in the morning, that sort of thing, just pop it on with your fingers like you would any moisturiser. Um, and if you want a really even more sort of flawless application or if you're someone that loves to use a brush then you can just use our smoothing face brush which also does an amazing job. So already I can see it's just toning down any rosiness. I'm now going to apply our complete coverage serum concealer. I love this. Bare skin. Best concealer. It's amazing isn't it? So what I'm going to do Gabby is I'm just going to pop this up underneath your eyes just a little bit and on any rosiness that still needs a little bit of extra coverage. And some spots as well. There's definitely yeah, those. Spots. We've all got those. <laughs> so that's um, with our bare skin concealer. So still looking incredibly natural, really dewy, um, but just giving you a little bit more coverage. And you can build that up as much or as little as you want. If you're having real areas that you just want to cover a little bit more, um, one of our absolute hero products is our Bare Minerals Original Foundation. Um, you know, if you particularly red one day, then you can actually just buff that over the top of this. So this is the original Bare Minerals Foundation. So this is the one that I have never been able to use properly. I just can't get the technique right for it. I can't cover anything up and I've never got on with it that well. So you're, gonna love it. you're about to change yes. my opinion apparently. Yes, I am. <laughs> And what colour is this? So I'm actually using golden medium on you. So again, we're going golden for a medium. golden undertone. 
Okay. okay. Um, and I'm using the Supreme Finisher brush, big fluffy brush. We're just gonna do a light coverage. Um, and the beauty of this is you can use it over your complexion rescue. Um, oh, I should tell you what I'm doing, shouldn't I? You should. So first of all, just pop some of the Bare Minerals Original Foundation into your lid. You don't need too much. I've got a little bit on my brush already, so. Tap out the excess, less is more and a little goes a long way. Okay. And then just in a circular motion, I'm just gonna buff into the skin. So the more you buff, the better the coverage will become. And we're polishing the skin, we're gonna give it a beautiful, dewy, radiant finish. Yeah. Um, amazing coverage, but without the look or feel of any makeup on the skin. It just smooths into the skin, hides the appearance of open pores and fine lines, um, just gives you a beautiful airbrush, flawless finish, but again, it's not going to give you the look or feel of makeup. So people won't know you're wearing makeup, they'll just think that you look absolutely stunning. Yeah, it is. Nice it's, coverage, isn't it? It's really nice, and it doesn't look like I'm wearing much. Which do you like a bit more coverage than that, or are you happy with that? Because if you want more, all you do is add a tiny bit more. I can go with a little <gasps> bit more. A little bit more, okay. Just it's, to see what it looks like. You are completely in control of the coverage, and that's the beauty is, even if you want to go for a full coverage, it's still not going to look heavy. Really spot, we can buff over that. So, so circular motions. In fact, why don't you have a go? You don't even need a mirror for this. Just buff. Really? Yes. Circular motions, really just work it into the skin. Okay. Almost like you're mixing a cake, you just go round and round and round, big fluffy brush, back and forwards. Honestly, once you get used to it, you'll find you don't even need a mirror. People do it like while they're getting their kids ready for school, while they're making breakfast, because it's not like you're having to blend a cream. You're a natural. <laughs> You've done this before. Well, I have tried m most products out there, I think, but this one I really wanted to get to grips with because I know so many people that love it. Yeah. I think it's just getting the technique right, making sure you buff enough. I think the problem a lot of people have is they'll go back to the pot too soon because they don't realise how much coverage it's going to give and then they find that they're getting too much product, it's looking heavy. And it's, it's not a case with this of, of kind of wiping it on, is no, it? It's real really buff. working it into the skin. So there you have a beautiful, flawless, dewy finish. So I'm going to use our bronzer. It's called the... Ooh, this one's the High Dive. Color. Yeah, we do the Skinny Dip, which is quite pale, High Dive, Medium, and then the Deep End, which is obviously much darker. So I'm going to use the Seamless Shaping and Finish brush. This is perfect for a bronze, but also a contour at the same time. Just tap out the excess a little bit, and then we're going to take the brush from the forehead, down under the cheek, and then down under the jaw. So you're kind of contouring the complexion slightly, just to pick up those gorgeous cheekbones and show off your natural bone structure. I could definitely do with some cheekbones. You've got beautiful cheekbones yeah, already. Very spherical face. <laughs> now you've got a lovely shaped face. You've got forehead, down under the cheek, under the jaw, soft subtle movements. So it's kind of like a, a backwards three isn't it yeah. on the face. So what we're doing is we're letting the brush do the work. We're picking up the natural shape of your complexion, enhancing your best fits without kind of having to do like go faster stripes or put things in yeah. place that aren't actually there to begin with. And that will really make your eyes stand out as well because um, you know when you add color into the complexion, it brightens and lifts everything. Now if you want more of a bronze look, you can just take some of the bronzer, take it along the top of the nose, again, center of the forehead, highs of the cheeks, um, a little bit on the chin. Basically, if you had your face look, looking up to the light, obviously we'd always wear our SPF, but where the sun would naturally kiss your complexion. So, you know, you can use this for contour, but you can also use it for bronze. It's a really nice colour, actually. And that was, sorry, that was shade. This is the high dive. High dive. Yay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to use um, Nude Passion. Um, it's just really easy for that no makeup makeup look. Um, you can just use it straight from the barrel, straight from the bullet. Um, it's got a very high shine and it just gives your lips a slight tint so it's never going to look over the top. I always like to groom the brows. So using a spoolie brush, brush the brows up towards the hairline, smooth over the top, just make sure they're all in place. You've got great brows already. What do you do? Do you thread them or I them do or? thread them. I do struggle a bit with them. They're quite odd shapes if you look quite closely. They look fab. I mean, the great thing about brow products and things is you can completely, you know, be in charge of the shape of your brows, but actually I think you're being hard on yourself. I think your brows are lovely. Thank you. Nice and groomed. So we'll finish off with a little bit of mascara, and I'm going to use the new Petite Lash Domination. Ooh, I haven't tried this one yet, but I've wanted to try this. Yeah, I'm going to use this straight on you, so you'll have to take it home with you for hygiene reasons. I mean, if you insist. Yeah, okay then. <laughs> so the great thing about this is you can get right into the lower lashes. So I tend to do lower lashes first, because if you do top lashes first and then look up to do lower lashes, you end up with a load of mascara on your lid. So just look up for me, up to the ceiling. That's great. Chin slightly around, that's great. That's it. 
So just wiggling into the root of the lash and what you'll find is such a tiny little wand it picks up all your lashes, even the ones you didn't know you had. Look up again for me, wiggling into the root of the lash, letting the wand do the work for you. It's got like a 365 degree wand that picks up all the lashes effortlessly. You don't have to spend hours doing like more and more and more layers. Give that, are your eyes okay? Yeah. Yeah, little blink. Always have a little blink in between. It's always funny with blinking. Some, someone else touches your eyes. Now look down for me. And same on the top, just wiggling into the root of the lashes. And depending on what effect you like, like if you want that real faux lash effect. I do like keep, the faux lash. You do. Keep building up the layers. Obviously for like a natural look for every day. A couple of layers, absolutely perfect. You've got nice dark, fairly thick lashes anyway, so it's easy to get that lovely volume on you. Can we you don't, actually buy them? I'm afraid you can't, so I shouldn't really be using it. But we do sell all of these colours online and in store. What's that, the most universal shade? Probably uh, the one which is this shade here. Can you see it's like a peachy pink? Oh, that's and that's amazing. the one I'm gonna pop on you. What's or the called? aphrodisiac, the one. The one. The aphrodisiac, we've got the French kiss, we've got the natural high. Zoom in on this palette. Yeah, it's cool. Yay. Yeah, that is amazing. Sorry about that. But you can't buy it. Teasing. You can buy them all individually. <laughs> Almost as good. So you've got quite golden skin, so I think actually it'd be really nice to use something like the aphrodisiac on that. That looks which lovely. Which is a, a pinky peach. You can even go for the natural high, which is even more corally. You choose. I think we'll go for this one. Smile for me. A little bit on the apples of the cheeks. And this just finishes the look. Remember you've done your contouring with your bronzer or with your contour product. So really the blush is just to lift the apples of the cheeks and give you that really fresh finish, that feminine look. So we don't use our blusher to contour or to shape the face. It's literally to give a pop colour on the And it's just on the very apples of the cheeks. Blend onto the apples and then just gently blend above where your contour or your bronze is just so you've got that lovely flash of colour coming through. Perfect. Okay and then we'll finish with a little bit of mineral veil and you're done. Okay. Mineral veil is a very very fine lightweight product that hides the appearance of open pores and fine lines, soaks up excess oil throughout the day, um, smooths the appearance of the skin, keeps your makeup on for longer, it swirl, tap and then we're going to buff onto the T-zone. And this is invisible, is it? It's not totally tinted. invisible. And this will just give you that flawless, poreless finish that will last all day long. So your makeup's going to look amazing without it. But this will just keep everything softly and naturally in place all day. So there's a really pretty, fresh, natural, no makeup makeup look. So that's everything. Yes. Well, thank you very much. So that is using just all Bare Minerals products to get totally flawless skin. So for anyone that perhaps didn't realise you could get that with mineral makeup, you definitely can. I'm converted, um, particularly to the original foundation, I think, yes. which is the first, the first ever Bare Minerals product. Hero of the range. The hero. <laughs> but yeah, I will link below with all the shades that we used, with a link to the website as well. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And thank you to thank SJ. Thank you so much for having me.